What up YouTube fam, Mikey here from Forward Fashion and Kicks and today I'm gonna review the Air Max 90 in that green duck camel colorway. to the channel and if you enjoy today's video a thumbs up really goes a long way you can also hit that bell to be notified every time I release a new video and that is every Sunday well let's dive in the green duck camels released back on May 15th of 2020 for a retail price of 140 US dollars and here in Canada for a retail price of 185 dollars. The official colorway for this shoe is ghost green and black but for my French viewers out there, vert fantôme et noir. This shoe is labeled as an Air Max 90 SP which stands for Special Project. Nike SP represents the highest level of quality and also an avenue for Nike's creative endeavors. I personally beg to differ as I've seen many better quality Air Max 90s that were either labeled as an NRG or a premium. Prior to the Green Duck Camels being released, Nike released an Air Max 90 that was called the Reverse Duck Camel. The Reverse Duck Camel was originally and initially inspired by a 2013 release that Nike collaborated with Atmos Japan. To commemorate the 2013 release, Nike created their version and called it the Reverse Duck Camel. So the Reverse Duck Camels got released on the 26th of March, which is Air Max Day. And as most of you probably experienced yourself, I took an L within a matter of seconds. So when the Green Duck Camels got released roughly a couple months later, and I saw that they were a variation of the red pair, ya boy had to cop. Diving into the details of the shoe, focusing on the toe box, you can see that the overlay as well as the mudguard have been wrapped in this painted suede. Nike painted on hits of grey and brown camo which kind of resemble the same kind of camo that Bape uses. These come standard with your white flat laces. However, Nike also gives you a pair of these ghost green ones as well as these black ones. Now, personally, I think that the white laces go best with the shoe as they match the midsole and they make the rest of the shoe pop. One of my favorite things about this colorway is the amount of green that they use throughout the shoe. That mixed in with the hits of grey and brown camo really make this shoe pop in a subtle way. If you haven't already noticed, I love green. I appreciate all different shades but my favorite by far is lime green. As far as the fit goes, these fit me true to size. I'm a true size 8.5, slightly on the wider side. Now, typically, the Air Max 90s run a little on the narrow side, so if you have a very wide foot, you might want to go up a half size. Alright guys, I know y'all can't wait to see me on foot, and I hate to sound repetitive, but if this is your first time watching my video, I got to run you through the drill. First things first, we don't wear Adidas socks with Nike shoes around here, okay? And number two, if you're trying on a brand new pair of shoes, you got to have a brand new pair of socks, which is why we got the sock box. So today, because we're trying on a pair of Nike Air Maxes, I'm going to get a pair of Nike socks. So let's whip them on and let's get to it.
wraps up my review on the Air Max 90 in the green duck camo colorway. In a nutshell, if you like the color green, then you're probably gonna like this shoe. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my review. And once again, if you enjoyed today's video, a thumbs up really goes a long way. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this colorway. Until next time, peace.